Hey YouTube, it's Emmanuel from Tech Insomnia, and I've got an Asus laptop here that's obviously caught in a bit of a boot loop. It's been running like this now for the last five minutes, so I'll <laughs> be honest, uh, this computer is in pretty rough shape. I vacuumed it before filming. I think there was um, a bit of plastic protruding from a drop, if you can see right there. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to get this computer fixed and working better than ever. Stay tuned. So I've rebooted the computer into the BIOS and I can see that it's an Intel i3 5th gen with 4 gigs of RAM. So I'm going to boot Windows PE and just check the hardware on this computer before we dive any deeper into what could potentially be up with this particular laptop. So the Asus loading window was open for a little bit after the USB key initialized and now it's just a black screen. Windows PE should have definitely loaded by now so I think my next result is to try a different Windows PE key and after that I'm going to open up the computer, take out the hard drive and see what I can discover. I've got the second key loading now, fingers crossed. So no luck on that second boot from Windows PE. I've got the computer open now and as you can see, it's absolutely riddled with dust. So we're gonna have to give this interior a really, really good cleaning. I've got the hard drive right here. So I'll get it out of the bracket right now and then hook it up to my computer and see what I could see. Got the hard drive out of its bracket right now. Pro tip for you guys, try to keep the screws as organized as you can so that when you close the computer back up, you'll know exactly where those screws go. So I've got the hard drive out and hooked up to my laptop with an external dock. And just as I suspected, the hard drive is in caution. Now if you look here, it actually froze crystal disk. I heard the uh, chime for when a hard drive is bad or in caution, but um, yeah, unfortunately this hard disk drive is definitely bad. I mean, <laughs> it's literally so corrupted that it froze my computer. <laughs> Okay, so now that we know the hard drive needs to be changed, we're going to take this one step further and I'm going to upgrade this computer with a brand new solid state hard drive. So that will not only fix the damaged hard drive issue, but it's also going to give this computer a little bit of speed, a little bit of pep and a nice little refresh for 2022. I'm going to get this thing cleaned out from top to bottom. We'll install the SSD and then see how we did. Okay, so I've got the new SSD installed, got the CPU fan hinges, and while I had the computer open, I've got the entire thing literally as clean as I could get it with the micro attachments on my vacuum. Also, I've taken the liberty to just slightly, ever so slightly, tighten all the interior screws. Because over time, you know, opening, closing the laptop, moving it from point A to point B, it can loosen the interior screws. So it's good to just kind of firm everything up a little bit. I'm going to get this thing put back together, install Windows, and let's see how we did. One last thing I want to show you guys before we install Windows. This is the pre-allocated memory buffer for the graphics card. We're going to boost this right to 512, the maximum. This will give the computer better streaming and better graphics. <laughs> Definitely a welcome change from what we were seeing before. Got Windows installed with the BIOS updated and all the newest drivers. 
including the most important one. I've got crystal disc here running 100% good on the new SSD. Two hour count. Battery health on this computer is 86.6% so it will hold a significant charge. Its maximum current capacity is 92.8. Pretty good. That, that's about maybe three, four hours on this SSD. So now we're just going to do a quick real world speed test. Open up Microsoft Word. <sighs> Blazing. Let's try Excel. Very fast. Let's open up the camera. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, let's open up the internet. Just some random searches. All in all, this was a great repair slash upgrade for this Acer laptop. I was even able to repair that indentation sticking out like it never happened. Really, really fast and effective, great battery life. Good laptop. Got the uh, original hard drive back in the SSD box. Um, just to give it back to my client, there was a CD inside the laptop. I've got the charger. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found value. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.